Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video is all about everything I have for the guinea pig's cage, which is looking rather empty behind me right now. And it's a bit of a follow on video to the one where I showed you guys how to actually build the cage, which is a timber and plexiglass cage. So if you're interested in doing something similar, you want to know about the materials and how everything is put together, then do go and check that video out. I'll put it in the cards now and down in the description below. Do make sure you come back to this video though, because we're going to look at everything that goes in the cage from the fleece liners to the cozy beds, to the wooden houses, to other accessories, everything that I've got for the piggies. So that's enough rambling, let's get straight in with the first category. Okay, so we're going to start off on the floor surrounded by fleece. So I do use fleece for my piggies and have done for years and years. I would never go back to using natural bedding. I just find for me, it works out really well. Obviously, if something else works out for you, then that's great. I use fleece for three main reasons. Number one, it's more economical for me to use fleece over such a large area. Number two, I find it easier to manage the mess. And number three, cleaning and washing the fleece liners for me isn't that much of a hassle. A washing machine copes well. We just get in the routine of doing one or two washes a week and that's the way we've always done it. So yeah, for the liners, I have this gray one, which I custom made for this cage. So it fits perfectly. You'll see it in the cage probably more than any of the others I have because it's a nice neutral color. So it does go with a lot of the more out there cozy items I have for the biggies. But as well as that one, I also have a slightly smaller pink one and I have a purple one that is the same size that's in the cage at the moment. And then I also have a small pale yellow liner that has much thicker wadding in it. And I made that for when Twiggler, if you remember, she had her surgery and she was on that liner when she was recovering from it. I will be making the piggies some more liners. I haven't made a liner for years and years now. So my intention is to make them some new liners and a load more cozy items to go in the cage. So in a future video, possibly, because things aren't quite ready yet, we will do a cage makeover or something and see everything that I've made them from new. And along with the liners are loads of these pads, which is probably one of the reasons why I don't have that many actual liners themselves, because these work like magic. They make the liners last around two weeks for me between washes. I do have to wash these more regularly, but they're less hassle to wash and easier to manage. So I have about seven seven or eight big ones that will cover like a big corner of the cage or they're big enough to sit underneath a big hidey or the hammock with plenty of room around it. And then I also have a selection of smaller ones. Most of these go inside cozy beds, but some of them I will just place around the cage. Okay, so moving on to the cage furniture and first up is the wooden houses that I have for the piggies. The first one I have here is what I call the wooden arch, but I think it is also called fiddlesticks or kind of willow tunnel. You'll probably have seen these. They are in most pet shops and um, they come in three different sizes. So I've got the medium. There's also a small one <laughs> and there is also a large one, which is more suitable for rabbits really, but you could use it for guinea pigs as well. I really love these because they've got two entrances in, so they're easily shared by the piggies. No one kind of has a squabble over who's in there. The guinea pigs pretty much have this in their cage 95% of the time, so I do use it so much. Most of the time I'll pop it in the center of the cage somewhere, so it's a tunnel with two entrances. And sometimes what I do is sort of hook it over onto the litter tray and make a bit of a canopy for the guinea pigs to chill out under there. And that's good because it gives it a bit more space so they can sit happily together without getting too close to each other. And this small one I originally got for Phoebe and Roxy to use when they were babies, but the piggies still use it today. All of them are quite small, except for Pedro, bless him, <laughs> don't tell him. <laughs> and then sometimes you get a piggy who sort of tries to fall asleep in it with their head in one side and their fluffy bum sticking out and they just look hilariously cute when that happens. 
Moving on, and this collection of wood, which is about to magically turn into an assembled house, ta-da! It's actually huge! <laughs> so this is what I call the Pets at Home Heidi because I did buy it from Pets at Home. Unfortunately, I don't think they make it anymore, but there are plenty of similar things available. And what I really love about this one is it's large, I can get beds and other things inside there, and it's collapsible, so it's really good for storage. On the downside, it does does only have one entrance so sometimes piggies can get a bit argumentative over it and also on the downside it is very sheltered in there so I find that guinea pigs have a tendency to just lurk about inside <laughs> Heidi huts that are really dark and they maybe become a bit more shy because of that so I don't actually use it that much in the cage and when I do I'll just pop it in for a day or two days at a time. Next up for the wooden things is this and I have no idea how to pronounce the name. But this is a really good kind of L-shaped house. It's got two entrances which is really nice and it's good for slotting into a corner. The only downside about it really is that it's not collapsible so it does take up a huge amount of space in my cupboard. And the last thing for the wooden houses is this hammock which is the thing that I get asked most about out of anything on any of my videos. And I did get it from a also a German shop on Etsy this time. There are quite a few of them around now on various Etsy shops and I would actually love to make my own style hammock so maybe in the future look out for that one. And that's because the piggies absolutely love it. I have this in the cage like the wooden arch about 95% of the time and all of that time there's going to be a guinea pig either inside the hammock or chilling out underneath it and sometimes both which is very cute and it's also really good because it's not too enclosed and dark so they don't kind of hide away in there and become a bit reclusive which I do find with some of the other more enclosed wooden houses. Would you like some houses back? <laughs> then you've got something to relax in. The next category is cardboard and edibles. <laughs> so the first item we have is one of these cardboard tubes. Yeah, <laughs> it is a bit grimy and that's the thing with these. They don't last forever because inevitably guinea pigs chew on them and they also poo and pee in them. So this is nearing the end of its life and I will have to recycle it at some point. They are not that expensive though, so you can either replace them or what I'll probably do with this one is just leave it for a while. And then at some point in the future, I'll no doubt just pick one up. Um, but the piggies do enjoy it. It's another form of tunnel. Tunnels are one of their favorite Heidi's so yeah it always goes down well with them. Next up is another thing that I've used for a number of years this is probably my sixth carrot cottage. Now you can get these from pets at home they look better <laughs> once they haven't been chewed so much by the guinea pigs. I do actually have a new one because Amazon duped me into buying two so we'll have a look at the new one. And the reason why I keep getting these is because the guinea pigs really like chewing the hay off the walls and they'll also stretch up to nibble the carrot off the roof as well. They aren't the cheapest of things so I do try and make them last as long as possible and I also don't use Use them in the cage continuously because they do eat the cardboard and whilst guinea pigs can digest paper-based products and cardboard it isn't a good idea for them to eat loads of the stuff so if they are proper gnawing at it all the time then maybe just pop it in for half a day or so then take it out for a week or a couple of weeks. I use it very intermittently but when I do the guinea pigs really enjoy it. And the next one is this. Basically it is another edible Heidi house the downside with these is that it's got a bottom. So if you want to make it last more than a few days, you need to have a pad or something in there that will stop the pee and poo soaking through to the bottom. And I've just reused pads from my other Heidi Huts, which have done that job great. So once that problem is solved, the piggies do really enjoy it. They do chew on it. I think it's probably quite a good thing for them to chew on because it's probably high in fiber. But if you know more about it, then do correct me. I don't give it to them all the 
more time and similar with the carrot cottage really i'll pop it in for a day or, or a couple of days and then they won't see it again for maybe a week or so so moving on and cozy items are a large part of what goes in the piggy's cage obviously i make cozy items so i have made everything here myself i will warn you though a lot of the things are old so again it's something that i will be making new items for the piggies in the near future and i have a whole host of different ones so let's get started with tunnels first of all the piggies absolutely love tunnels and they have this one which is a large tunnel with the boning in and they also have this very very old tunnel which is a prototype i made probably about seven or eight years ago <laughs> and it doesn't have any boning but they do actually really like this Lyra especially goes and lies in it and she looks like she's got a little sleeping bag it's absolutely adorable so those are the tunnels next up we have the snuggle sacks and these again have a strip of boning and the piggies just go in there and it's like a little tea cozy they curl up and fall asleep the piggies have two of these they've got this one with the birds on and they also have their four funky Halloween one. Along with tunnels, snuggle sacks are definitely a firm favourite with the piggies so they will definitely be getting some new ones of these as well. After snuggle sacks comes cuddle cups. So cuddle cups are like your standard traditional little bed here and the piggies really like them. I always use them with pads and they look super cute when they go to sleep in them. I always have at least one of these in the cage and my piggies actually have quite a lot of these. They have two little ones like this. They have this super old big one that is made with really thin wadding i make them with wadding that's about 10 times thicker than this now and then they also have these two old prototype ones as well and then moving on the next item is the heidi houses so they have this pyramid one that they love it's really super warm and cozy in there great for the winter months they also have these which i call slipper snugs <laughs> but these slipper snugs are really nice because they've got a sort of roof over there head so the piggies feel safe and secure in there but it's also such a big entrance that you can see in and see what they're up to spy on them <laughs> so yeah they are um, a really nice bed they're nice and big as well so they can easily fit two piggies in there and finally it's sort of a combination between a more safe and secure hidey hut and an open cuddle cup bed is the hooded bed this again is is an old prototype one they are slightly bigger these days i was just about to say that's every everything for the cozy items. I almost forgot about this which is a cute plushy heart. This again is something that I would like to kind of make my own version of. So if you think your piggies um, use like a cushion type thing like this and you would be interested in that let me know because um, I'm always really interested to hear what people think their piggies would use and then I can sort of create my own versions of these things for them. And last but not least we have the other accessories for the cage which someone has just started using because every time I talk on a video they drink out of the water bottles. I noticed that Scotty's Animals also mentioned this in a video recently and I'm with you on that one. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> so yeah, I use glass water bottles for the piggies. I just find them a bit nicer looking than the plastic ones. They are a bit smaller maybe than the plastic counterparts, but it does make sure that I change the water out regularly, do it every day. Next up, we have food bowls and I have just stolen their food bowl out of their cage. <laughs> so they have had this one which actually says rabbit on the side for years and years i got it with my first ever guinea pigs then they've also got this one that says guinea pig and then they also have this one which is super cute it says dinner time on it so i use the food bowls mainly for the pellets also for the vegetables and then sometimes if they've got treats or a different kind of hay that deserves a bowl then i will put that in a bowl as well for them and then the other sort of accessory type thing that i use a lot are uh, these wood rolls so these start off as a treat either filled with millet and carrot or you can get parsley ones they can eat all of the inside you might have to help them a little bit because it does get jammed in there sometimes and then once they're empty they are super good for a little hay holder or anything really you can put vegetables and other treats in here and just give them a bit more enrichment 
So I can't believe I almost forgot the litter tray. This is an underbed storage box from B&Q. This is their hay room, but it's also their litter tray and it helps me keep on top of mess in the cage. I clean it out daily. If you saw my evening routine video, then you can see me cleaning it out. And I also top the hay up several times throughout the day. So obviously they have the litter tray in the cage all the time, but I try not to think about it as something that's taking up room and oh, can I put the hay somewhere else? I think of it more as a feature in itself, something that they can sleep in, they can play in, they can just go and chill out in there and have a good nibble on hay. So that's why they always have this big litter tray in their cage. Okay guys, so that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. I sort of tried to summarize and move fairly quickly, but obviously <laughs> there's quite a lot. <laughs> if you own guinea pigs yourself, you'll know that they end up accumulating more and more stuff. And if you haven't got guinea pigs, then be prepared for that. <laughs> so as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, then please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. How does my stuff compare with what you have for your own piggies or what you'd like to buy piggies in the future? Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.